guys welcome back to my channel it's Gemma here I hope you are all well today's video is going to be my beauty favorites so I'm just going to get started and let you see what have been my favorite bits over the last few months so if you would like to see what I've been loving then keep watching the first two things that I'm going to start with is foundation and I have been absolutely loving the Revolution Stick Foundation. It's five pounds, I buy mine from Superdrug and it basically comes like this. I think that it is a copy of the iconic London one and it's just fab. I love the coverage of it, it goes on really easy. To be honest, when I first started using it, it was quite difficult for me to use but I got used to it really, really quickly. I basically just draw stripes all over my face and then I use the Beauty Blender to blend it out and um, this i have got this in f10 i think the coverage is fantastic on it it's called the fast base stick foundation you can either get it on the actual makeup revolution website or you can pop in to superdrug and i am so excited because my local superdrug which is actually tiny has now got two stands of revolution makeup so i am delighted about that so that's my first favorite the second favorite which is actually just a new bottle that I've got. Um, this one's £7. is also from Makeup Revolution and it's the Revolution Pro Drops. Again, I get this in F10 and what I tend to do is if I'm going out on a night out and I want a bit more full coverage then I'll use the stick foundation and then I will go in with the foundation drops. The stick foundation I would say is a bit more dewy on your face if you like a bit more matte look then you sort of need to put on a setting powder with it but this one is just fantastic it gives you really good coverage it makes your skin look absolutely gorgeous and i just really like it the only thing about it is is that it, it can be a little bit messy because it's a sort of droplet and I tend to just drop it on my hands. I know that you're meant to just drop it all over your face but I made the mistake of doing that and then it ended up on my car so I've just been putting it on my hand and then using my beauty blender to blend it in all over my face. So these are my two first things that are both Makeup Revolution. The next thing that I have been loving from Makeup Revolution as well, or Revolution, is the Fast Base Concealer, which I believe is a copy of the new Charlotte Tilbury one, I think. Um, this was £5 and I, ended up, I actually got this online because I'd seen so many people do YouTube videos about it that I just thought I had to try it and I really really like it. It's like one of these ones that come with a little sponge at the end and then you just sort of wind this bit up at the bottom and it comes out. It does come out really really fast unlike the I want to say Maybelline one that you need to go for ages and ages and ages before you get any product out. This one you don't have to do that so that's good. Um, it's really good coverage under your eyes I tend to wear more than one concealer though so I'll put this one on first and then I'll put the collection one on top of it because that is my ultimate favourite but I've spoke about that in favourite videos before that I thought there's no point speaking about it again. So this one is a new one and as I said Makeup Revolution £5 and I bought it on the Superdrug website. The next thing that I'm really liking from Revolution, now I got this actually as a freebie. I had bought I think £25 worth of stuff online which was the stuff that I've just spoke about there and I ended up getting £25 worth of free stuff on their website which was fantastic and it came with this um, Revolution Skin Kiss and Peach Kiss and it's a highlighter and I think it's meant to be more a highlighter for all over your body as you can see it is pretty big but I have been using it as just a normal highlighter for all my cheeks and I'm really liking it I think it's actually only about £5 in store and it is still available in the actual store because I was in Superdrug last week, they had these sort of things there. And as I said, it's meant to be like a body highlighter that you can maybe put on your shoulders or your collarbones when you're on holiday or if you're wearing like a low cut top or off the shoulder or something like that, then you can pop this on and it'll just sort of highlight when you're getting photos taken. But I actually really like it as a normal highlighter and I have used it as well as a body highlighter. The next products that I'm going to talk about, I have been absolutely raving about them on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just the.lifestyle.hunter. But it's actually products from George Asda. I didn't really realise that Asda had makeup. I have bought 
maybe a highlighter and a lipstick or something like that previously but I didn't actually realise that they've got quite a lot of different things so they've got basically a full makeup range now and I have been loving all their products. The first ones that I'm going to speak about are their blushers. I have got two blushers, one in Coral Crush and one in Smoky Rose. The peach one, every time I wear it, people always message me on Instagram saying, what is that blusher? It is really, really nice. As you can see, it's just a really nice sort of peachy colour. And then the pink one is, as it said, a smoky rose. So it's like a sort of dusky pink colour, which is really nice. These are only £2.50, which I think is absolutely fantastic for a blusher. And I just basically put it on these vets off my cheek and they're just such a nice colour for brightening up your face and as we get into autumn and winter I think these colours are going to be perfect because everybody always likes the sort of just that rosy cheeked look in the winter time and I think that these are going to be perfect but I have been absolutely loving these. The next thing that I have been loving is a bronzer from Asda and it's called Coco, it's the darkest one that they have got. Dark tan, dark bronzer. I do like it a bit darker. Um, this is the colour here. Again, £2.50. I have been using that as a sort of bronzer for all over my face, but also using it as a contour as well. They do have lighter ones, so if you don't like it too dark, then there is a couple of different colours um, you can pick up. But I had just ran out of bronzer and I thought, I'm just going to pick one up in Asda. And normally there's like a Rimmel stand and I think a Maybelline stand. And then I seen this one and I thought, I'm going to give it a try because of the blushers. Love it. So if you haven't tried this one, next time you're in getting your shopping, grab a blusher and grab a bronzer and let me know what you think. Also, if you already use Asda, what is your favourite products? I am also loving the lip liners, which I have spoke about previously on like a monthly favourites video. Um, so I didn't, I didn't want to include them, but the lip liners are really good. I've got a red one and I've also got like a nude pink one that is just gorgeous. And again, they're only about two pounds. One of my favourite lipsticks over the last couple of weeks is from Asda. It's a matte one and it's a sort of pinky nude colour and it's just gorgeous. It's called Bellini, which is one of my favourite drinks. And these are only, again, about £2 or £2.50. In fact, actually, I think these are £3. So we're breaking the bank here. Um, and they're just such a really nice colour. I've got it on today and I just love the way that it looks. As I said, it is matte, but it's not overly matte, so it doesn't it's like a creamy matte if that makes sense so therefore it doesn't crack on your lips or anything and they have got some gorgeous colours when we went on holiday in January I had actually picked up a, a lipstick before we went and it was a nudie brown and it was really really nice I can't remember the name of that one but I still wear that um, it's not one of my favourites but this one is moving on to eyebrows again from Asda is this cheeky little thing I might have actually spoke about this previously in a favourites video or maybe it was a get ready with me video but I have been using this and it's basically the brow cream tamer and it comes like this well it actually comes like this and then you click that off put it in here and then it's got a really really thin brush and you basically just dip in and do your eyebrows and this is meant to be a copy of the benefit one and again this is only £2.50 and I have been recommending that for about the last two months on my Instagram and so many people have messaged me saying that they've already bought it and they love it. So basically you've got your bronzer, you've got your blusher, you've got your lipstick and you've got your eyebrows and we've been in Asda. So basically pick all that stuff up when you're doing your weekly shop. Mascara is something that I really struggle to get purely because I have got the tiniest, teeniest little eyelashes ever and I'm always looking for a mascara that is going to help make them just a bit longer and a bit thicker looking and I have found it. It is the Maybelline Last Sensational and I got this because Jamie Genevieve had recommended that on one of her videos. She always just tends to use this one when she, just before she's putting on her false eyelashes. So I picked it up and I think I managed to get it when it was like 5 95 or something like that and I love it and I need to get a new one and I've been using this for about the last month or so. So I have tried it, it's not just like a new one that I'm trying, I have tried it over the last month and I am absolutely loving this one. 
loving everything in this favourite video, obviously. Uh, but I do love this, extremely love this. It has got curved brush and it makes it really easy to get into your lower lashes with it. And it also means as well that you can do like wiggly strokes and then an additional top up with the other end. So I really like that one. Um, and it's the only mascara that I have been using for the last about month or so. Well done Maybelline. Eyebrows, obviously eyebrows right now, everybody is making sure that they have got eyebrows when we look back on all those photos from like 10 years ago and nobody had any eyebrows. We now all have lovely dark brown eyebrows. <laughs> This I have spoken about I think before and again it's the Makeup Revolution. I am absolutely obsessed with Makeup Revolution just now. I think that they are doing an amazing job giving people affordable makeup and also probably doing a bit copycatting um, from other ha like high end brands which is great for somebody like me. I don't want to pay, I don't know, £30 for a foundation that I've never tried before. I used to use Estee Lauder and I love double wear. The only thing was that I find it was quite drying on my face and as I got older, and you can see all these wrinkles, it does get stuck in them. So that's why I've sort of moved away from that and I've been trying to find an affordable foundation that I really like and Makeup Revolution are totally hitting the spot with that right now. They've actually bought a new foundation which is the Hide and Conceal it, I think, or something like that. And it's meant to be absolutely amazing. It's nine pounds for the bigger, like a big bottle. And it looks really high end. And again, I've been watching YouTube tutorials and it's meant to be absolutely fantastic and last. So that is my next one to try once those two run out. Um, but yes, eyebrows. So Revolution, I've got the eyebrow tint like Maybelline. Yes, Maybelline. And basically it's like a gel that comes with a tiny little brush and then you paint it on your eyebrow to your desired sort of shape. I don't just use this, I use a few different products and obviously the one from Asda I'm loving just now. Um, but I put this one on, you leave it on for about an hour to two hours, sometimes I sleep in it just depending on when I put it on. If I sleep in it it's absolutely fine. It doesn't get really really dark or anything like that. I think it probably stops developing after a couple of hours. Therefore it's fine to sleep in or I find it's fine to sleep in. Um, and then I'll just top my eyebrows up with either the brow tamer or I've got a powder from the MUA that I have also loved for about the last year and I sometimes use that go between alternative ones um, but this is really good it's only five pounds the Maybelline one is 12.99 so it is a huge difference so if you are struggling to get a nice shape or you get really thin eyebrows then you can do this and then I'll give them the shape and then you can obviously put another product on top of it is what I tend to do the last makeup product that I'm going to talk about is the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder that I also picked up in Asda. I guess I just pick up makeup when I go shopping. Um, I think this was about five pounds and it's just a setting powder. I use it under my eyes. I don't use it on a regular basis, but when I do use it, I use this one and I have really, really liked it. Um, I watch tutorials and things like that. I'm not, obviously, I am not a makeup artist and I'm not, I'm getting better at doing makeup, but I'm not great at it. And I, yeah, um, I struggle sometimes, but this has been pretty good. And I've used it, I think, in a couple of Get Ready With Me videos. So if you are struggling to find a low cost one, then I would say that this is pretty decent. Going on to skincare, my friend recommended the Asda Radiance Night Cream. It's only £1.50 and it's really good. I honestly do, don't have a skincare routine. People ask me on a regular basis, do you have a skincare routine? Could you do a video on it? And I'm like, it's really bad. I'm 35 and I don't have a skincare routine. Naughty Gemma. I didn't start wear wearing foundation until I was, I think, about 23 or something like that. So, yeah, I'm a bit behind with the times. So, I picked up this one. She'd recommended this. She also recommended the daytime cream, but they didn't have any when I was in Asda. Um, in the last few times that I've been in, they've not had it. So, I have been using this at night and I have been really, in, like, really enjoying using it. When I've been waking up in the morning, my skin has felt much more hydrated than it normally would. So, yeah, if you want a low cost moisturiser, then this night one or you're just starting out with skincare and you wanted one to try then I would 
100% suggest trying the Radiance Night Cream from Asda. So that is the end of my beauty favourites video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you've got any favourites out there then please let me know in the comments below. As usual guys I would absolutely love it if you could give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and if you haven't already then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.